Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we got to the top of the tower and we finally took out the chief. So, let's, let's see if we can actually take over the news. The chief of the Information Bureau lost. I will never admit that fact. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to print that anyway. I control every bit of information. Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose. I mean, that's not how that works at all. Is that your own personal form of denial? It's some form of denial, definitely. You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the netherworld! What, what is the accent even meant to be there? Because I, I really can't place it. It's like sometimes it's British, sometimes it's American British is the best way to put it. Sometimes it's slightly... I don't know. It's all over the place. I, I can't place it. Hmm. Maybe it's not meant to be placed because it could just be random for the sake of random. But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. It's probably just like upper class type accent. It's just generic upper class. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times. Oh, hundreds? Thousands? Yes. Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken. Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Forever. Wow, how former tyrantly of you. I could really feel the weight of your threat. Could you? Then why, why do you sound so blasé about it? Yes, I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> You're actually writing that down? Okay. Tyrant and that power. By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right! That legendary Tyrant is still alive! And works as a printing instructor! Uh, uh, and wh wh what would such a Tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? Hmm. I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. Fix it. We need this fixing. Please allow me to explain on his behalf. What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... Plebeian? I thought it was plebeian. Who knows? We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm gonna be the new president. Uh huh. Desco is gonna be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? Deaf. I mean, he's deaf, so he'll be deaf. Deaf. I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. You're nobody. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. Exactly. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a complete failure. You sound oddly happy and reassured by this fact. Maybe it's because you, you're finally free and, and you can be what you want to... Oh, wait, I'm quoting the... 
That is absolutely correct. Good job! You've got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you, monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Go on. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. Still something wrong with the volume levels of the voice acting in this. It's, it's just like, it just needs to be pumped up. And, and and you've seen previously, I have got it on max and the music volume on low and it's still, still not enough. But that's why. I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. And Measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. My god. From now on, I'm going to carve out a life of my own as death of Measle. And that is my final answer. That, that was a question? All right. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm going to let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own merits, Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? Why is he so hung up on promises, though? I assume we'll eventually find out, obviously. I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party, and fight to usurp the regime! In time, you'll be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Death Imizel has officially become a member. Finally. Tyrant Velva Torres gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Imizel's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix and will have a significant influence on the netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatores among their ranks, but now Sir Amizel too. I must report this to the president. How, how does that impact the education? Ed education system. I can't even say the words right. Maybe I, I need to pay attention more in classes. Doesn't make sense considering I'm in my 30s, but still. Hold it right there. Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude. Dude. 37,564 hell that drained into the netherworld due to the information bureau neglecting its responsibilities. Dude. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Dude, you gotta keep saying the dude, remember, dude? Plus all other illegally obtained profit. I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 health. Uh, dude. That's better. You! That awkwardly placed dude. You're not a real prinny, are you? How could you tell? You can deceive an experienced prinny instructor with that boss! Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. There's an angel inside that prinny? There's an angel inside every prinny. I mean, there's not. There's more like a devil inside. But still, it just sounded good. Could she be the angel of avarice? 
That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me. How about Volcanus? I don't like it. How could you? What are you doing in the netherworld? I, I, I thought you died. Artina! Artina? What? No. Well, we're gonna fade out. Oh, all right then. We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, episode five. A tyrant's pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. What? Oh, triple dot. Hey, are you tired out from all those fishy facts? Hey, what's with the long face? Tired? Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? It's probably something to do with sardines. I mean, everything is to do with sardines these days. I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines, and the bones have already been taken care of. Oh, very well. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? No. Think thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite strange. What's happened? Hey, you! Come over here! Hey, stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl! What angel girl? Oh, yeah. The angel? You mean the angel of avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the information bureau. What? They actually, what? She took the money? But I could have had that money. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's arch enemy. Desco is getting excited. That's that's your arch enemy? All right. <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores. That's impossible! Yes, but it could be her that cooled his burning heart. My brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the Tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but... So... Is that what love is? It's love. L-O-V-E. Uh-huh. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. How are you convinced this easily? I don't believe it. Plus, Mr. Valvatora shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. It wasn't that dramatic, was it? Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss. It has struck her heart. Forbidden love between a demon and angel. <laughs> My dream is getting way more exciting. It, 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 you need to... Is anybody going to ever explain to her that this isn't a dream in a way that she understands that this isn't a dream? You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. Whoa, steady on now. I'm going to rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. What? Why is, 
Wow, it's so rude. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. What's, what's happened to Fenric? It's, it's got more aggressive. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Dusko is scared. Hmm. You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared. You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. That's that's just because it's cold in here. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm. He's still going to be thinking, isn't he? He's going to triple dot. Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money... We should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? He's, he's convinced way too easily. I already have something in mind. What? Research, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. Mid-level? If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude. With that being said, what do you think, my lord? It just might work. Mid-level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. Oh, do I have to put in effort? Ugh. The Corruptorment has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Don't get too excited. Jesco feels one step closer to becoming a final boss. <laughs> I like the little lap she does. I bet they're still calling me the fake a measle. Ah, does it matter that much? Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? 200 hell. 10,000 hell, my lord. Oh, that's, that is quite, quite a small amount. 10,000? That's all? Yeah, it's like, I expected something like 1 million hell or something like that. Any, anything like that. Those bastards! How could they? make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go to bring Hades to the netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay, to become the netherworld president. I mean, that's not going to work out for you. To become a that might. That might. To become a great demon and make father proud. Yeah. Their goals are completely different from one another. Yet somehow they still all work together. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime. Let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control! The what? Episode 5, The Angel of Avarice. Oh my. Ooh, of course, forgot about that. Information Bureau's bill- ooh. No, I don't want that, no, no. Didn't want that, yes. I was like pressing X to try and get rid of stuff quite quickly. It's like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want that. Yep, we're all healed up. Alright, so let's search for chests, seeing as we're in a new episode. We should have some around, shouldn't we? Somewhere. Oh, there's one! There's one, there's one, what we get? Art? Ain't mischief? Not quite sure, not quite sure. Alright, let's see here. Anything, well, sort the cheat shop while we're here, obviously. Gotta do that. So set. Again, we'll take down the monies, get the XP's up, get the manas up, and then put the monies back up. Because it is like, I, I, I do want to get as much XP and mana as possible. Because they're the things that actually make it possible to do things. Hmm, I mean that is not the bounty. 
That's what we needed for the bounty. Where's the last chest? I don't know. It's up here. There it is. There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Right. So I'm thinking we should actually. What's going on then? Where'd you, where'd you come from? You were like over here a second ago. This is quite strange. Yeah, I'm thinking we should actually end this part here. In the next part, we'll go off and see where we're meant to go next. So we shall see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.